this wonderful day. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise the Lord. Praise him for his mighty act. Praise the Lord. Praise according to his excellent and greatness. Praise the Lord. with the sound of the trumpet. Praise the Lord. Praise with the salty and hard. Praise the Lord. with the treble and dance. Praise the Lord. with the string instruments and organ. Praise the Lord. Praise upon the loud cymbals. Praise the Lord. Praise upon the high sound of cymbals. Praise the Lord. Let everything have prayer. Praise the Lord. Powerful scripture, amen. Hallelujah. Let everything that have breath praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Amen. We know that the birds they praise the Lord when they tweet. Amen. We know that the wind praises the Lord because you hear it whistling through the wind. Yes. And through the windows, then yes. We see the world <laughs> constantly moving and constantly moving and constantly moving. Everything is going. God is showing proving that He's showing activity. That's why I want to say that the Great Commission is to go. G-O. He wants us to go. Amen. That's a part of action. Hallelujah. Action. What happens when things sit still and start to smell bad? Mm -hmm. What happens when swamp, the swamp, the water starts to sit still and turns into a swamp? Mm -hmm. Then you hear all about these, hear these frogs and you start hearing the mosquitoes. It's actually the worst place to actually fish. You better carry at least five or six things on off because these mosquitoes are coming for you. Amen. So, but the thing is, the Lord is constantly showing motion. If the, if the, if the water moves, the moss moves. Everything starts to move, start to move. God is showing proven that he's showing action. We got the earth spinning. What happens if the earth stopped? Let's just think about that. What happens if everything stopped? What happens if wind stops? What happens if the sun stops coming up? What happens? So many things will go wrong. What happens if it stops raining? You know, what happens if it stops snowing? As much as people hate snow, the snow actually uh, it cleanses, cleanses a lot of things. What happens if the heat? God is constantly showing us action. Yeah. And he's encouraging us to show action. Amen. Hey, today's scripture, amen. We are coming out of today. Romans 5. We're coming out of Romans 5. Here it goes. Mm -hmm. Romans 5, the 8th verse. Eight verse. Amen. I like to carry this Bible because it's very light. Yeah. But, ooh, yeah, I just throw it too. You want me to read it for you? Huh? Romans go ahead, 8. Go ahead, go ahead. Romans 8, verse 8. Mm -hmm. It's the word of God says, But God proves his own love for us. And that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Mm -hmm. That's verse 8. Yes, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. When our bodies were born, mm -hmm. when, we were, when we was born, sin was already in us. Yes. You wonder like, man, where do I get these thoughts of lying? And where do I get these thoughts of stubbornness and um, afraid of this, afraid of that? It's, it was all, all this stuff was already installed in us. So then... Where did sin come from? Isaiah 14. Go to Isaiah 14. And at the, at the 14th verse, where did sin or origin from? You know, when, when somebody wants to look up the history of something, mm -hmm. and they want to look up their family tree, they want to go back, way back, where did they come from? The Bible is telling you right here, where did sin come from? So why, why are we stuck with these thoughts of anger? Why are we always get upset, throwing tantrums? And want to tell a lie yeah. to get out of or get out of a tough situation. Want to do something bad. Where all these thoughts come from? Where is it? Isaiah. 14, what verse? 12, 12, 12 to 14. Okay. The word of God says, Shining morning star, how you have fallen from the heavens. You destroyer of nations. You have been cut down to the ground. You said to yourself, I will ascend to the heavens. I will step up my throne above the stars of God. I will sit on the mount of God's assembly in the remotest part of the north. I will ascend above the highest clouds. I will make myself like the most high. 
but you will be brought down. You know who's speaking right here. To shallow, into the deepest regions of the pit. Those who will see you will stare at you. They will look closely at you. And this the man who caused the earth to tremble, who shook the kingdoms, who turned the world into a wilderness, who destroyed its cities and would not release the prisoners to return home. All the kings of the nation lie in splendor, each in his own tomb. Amen. So this is explaining the origin of sin. The one that's speaking right there was Satan. His name was Lucifer. One of the most beautiful angels was given every single thing. Everything was beautiful. Everything was beautiful that he had. He was a mole. He was in charge. Very powerful. Yes. Strong. But it got, it got beyond his head. He said in verse 14, mm -hmm. what did he would boldly say in God's house? He said, I will make myself like the most high. Mm. So it's like someone coming into your territory, your home, and saying, this is my house. Yes. What if somebody cats and candy, somebody comes to your house, and when your friend said, uh-uh, this is my house. This is my room. Right. Oh, yeah, you're looking at him like what? <laughs> you gotta go, huh? Somebody come into your house, or somebody get in your car and say, this is my car. Right. Or they come, they come in your house and say, they come in your house and sit at your dinner table and say, this is my table. Mm -hmm. He is, he has the nerve to be up in God's presence. Yes. And say that he wants to be above God. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is where, what, and some people say, well, well why is that? Because he developed this mentality. And then he got the boot out of heaven, right into the earth. He got the boot right into it. He had to go somewhere. One thing about a demon or anything dark, it has to have a place to live in. You know, it won't come in unless you invite it to go somewhere like that. So it needs a place, a vessel of somewhere to come into. It needs somewhere how to get into it. So he had a place to go, it was out of the earth. Boom. He said, well, he think in his head, Okay, if I couldn't be in charge up there, I'm gonna be in charge yes. down here. Mm -hmm. That's what Satan did. How am I gonna do that with these two young people, Adam and Eve? How am I gonna get there? I guess I'll look one of the guys. We have to find a way to get to the how can I get to Adam and Eve? So, what he likes to do is to catch us by ourselves. See, it's hard for him to do it when it's two over there. And man, man, he sounds like he's talking crazy. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they would have, they would have, they would have said, uh, "Get out of here." Yeah. They don't even sound right when we're talking to a snake. It's kind of insane. But he had to catch someone by himself. Yes. He had to catch. Ah, anyway. <laughs> he called Eve by himself. You know, Adam talking to God, directly God giving him coming, he giving God giving him information on how to handle the, the whole flock. He gave him authority over all the animals. This was this was considered Adam's world, and Satan couldn't rule heaven, so he wanted he had to rule, he wanted to rule earth. And he had to get They like to, they like to do, um, get somebody in the, in the partner crying with them. Yeah. Misery loves company. Mm -hmm. Somebody having a bad day, they want you to have a bad day, right. or they'll, they'll, they'll get you all, all grouped up with a bad day. So now Eve, 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 um, Adam, um, Satan is talking to Eve, and to, you know, let them know the plan. God is holding back for you. You can have something much more. Mm -hmm. Now Eve is thinking about that power. So many people want power. 
It was a neighbor, it was something they were willing to walk over their brothers and their sister to get there. They were willing to trample over them. So many people want to, they'll do it. In jobs, you see it today. Other, other managers will talk, will, will trample, try to trample on another manager just to get the better the manager position. It happens everywhere. Yeah. It happens in the houses. The one kid will say something bad about the other kid to get the other kid kicked out the house so that kid can get every single thing. It happened in everywhere. This stuff is getting this, this is installed. Satan wanted Eve. And Eve had that, wanted that, he put her in all that power. And now Eve got that power, and God is holding back on you. How now she upset he, and Satan? And that's what he deceived Eve and told her about the tree. Everybody know about that. Of it, of it, of it. She ate of it, and of course, she brought Adam in on it. She didn't have to say much to Adam. She didn't have to say. She didn't have to say much to him. This, this basic uh, shining up for him, and he fell into it too. This is how sin. This is you. You wonder why you're having all these thoughts of lying. You wonder, like, man, what am I going to do with all that? Um, why, why, am I, why am I lying so much? Why am I so angry? Why am I so angry? At first, it was so pure that you could possibly drink, drink that pure water on it. Sin has creeped in our bodies. We have now broken relationship with God. The bridge has now been cut. Now you are, instead of peace with God, you are now enemies with God. How can this get fixed? Romans 5 and 8 said we all fall short of glory. There's nobody better than nobody. Mm -mm. There's no, you can say, oh, I'm better than you, I'm better than you, I'm better than you. No, we all have sin in us because of what happened on that day. It corrupted the whole entire world. So how will they get fixed? Jesus. When Jesus came upon us, God had to, when God's um, listen, uh, John 6, uh, 3, 16, when God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. They have to have God. So even though we did this disobedience and God doesn't want us to be enemies, he gave us a way to, for us to come back to him. He gave us his son, Jesus. So then, those thoughts of anger, those thoughts of anger, man, you're angry at the world. Only one way this stuff could be gone. It's through Jesus. Jesus comes. And we can have life. And have it more abundantly. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> and not only, when he died on the cross, the reason why Satan was trying his best get over us, he conquered also sin that day. That is a lightning. That's a lightning day. But not all, but not all, only way to get off of the, uh, only way for us to get right with God, we had to go through his son, Jesus. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed so much for us on the cross. God's He sacrificed so much for us on the cross. He did it all. And Satan tried his best to stop him from getting to that cross. Because we were all, we was all doomed. Our relationship with heaven was cut when Satan, when Satan deceived Adam and Eve. When Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit, our relationship with God was cut. And it had to happen. And God said he had another backup plan. He had the second Adam. They called him the second Adam. He had another plan. God already had a plan because he's already beyond, beyond. 
God sent us his only begotten son, Jesus, to get us right. Now look at that. That's almost like water. Don't drink it. <laughs> but it's almost like water. Through Jesus, we're clean. Yes. Without Jesus, we're still dirty. Mm -hmm. So in, so how do we keep how do we stop ourselves from getting contaminated? Each and every day we have to ask God for what? Forgiveness. forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Hey, good job. We have to ask God for forgiveness every day. And every day. We ask God for forgiveness every day. Because mm -hmm. our thoughts are coming in. The stress coming in. Complaining will start to creep in. And we start to look like this. We start to sin is not done yet. When we get our purified bodies, this body can our body cannot enter into heaven. God has to give us a brand new body to enter into heaven because his glory is so amazing. His glory is beyond. So our body, if it touches even close to God right now, it will die. God has to give us a brand new body Amen. when we enter in. So now that, that lets you know how God, it's like it's like he's allergic. Just like people are allergic to things. He is allergic to sin. He can't be nowhere around it. The only way that he sees us is through who? Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sorry that I, I demonstrated it. It went better in my mind. <laughs> but God is good. Amen. That was the whole, this was the whole lesson is about is that we got to ask for forgiveness every single day. Because we are trespassing when we don't ask for forgiveness. Have we ever, has, has anyone here trespassed on some property, bad property? Oh, yeah. Yes, we trespass it. Every time we sin, we trespass. Forgive us for our trespasses, and forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil, for God is the kingdom, power, and glory forever. Amen. We are showing, we are proving right there that we are trespassing. Every time we give in to sin, we are trespassing. When you, when you, when somebody talks bad to you and you, you could have walked away, and then you came right back to him. You went back to him and said, you know what? No, I ain't taking this. Now you trust that. You went to, now you went to Satan's world. Yes. You went in his world. So whatever happens, happens. You know, God is telling you, he's pulling you back. He said, no, 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 don't go. Don't go. He's pulling you like this. He's pulling you. He said, no, no, no. And you had to do whatever happened, it went down. It went down right there. You had to trust that. So, Boy, all that trespass we had to listen to when God is telling us. What did they say? It was the, what's that? Um, what's the opposite of um, anger? They said danger without a D, anger. Anger without a love, add a D, is danger. It's letting you know that we are, it's dangerous for us to go over there and trespass because whatever happens, what happens, we have to walk away. God wants us to walk away. At home, he wants us to what? Ask for forgiveness every single day. Ask for forgiveness. Because or we will be what? Trespassing. Mm -hmm. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. On this beautiful day. Hallelujah. It is a blessing. Hallelujah. So amen. Put your hands up and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being a forgiving God. Yes, God. Thank, thank you. Thank you for forgiving us for our sins. Yes, God. Thank you for taking the Lord for what you did on that cross yes. gave us a new chance. What you did on that cross gave us life. Yes. What you did on that cross, Lord Jesus, Father Lord Jesus, we thank you for what you did on that day. Building that bridge right back to us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the blood that you shed on Calvary. Yes. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, when we get that pride start to creep in us, Lord Jesus, but we thank you that you came, Lord Jesus, and purified us. But through you, Lord Jesus, that we can see God. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for being a bridge right back to God. Hallelujah. Giving us freedom, Lord Jesus. Say freedom, hallelujah. Freedom. Thank you for that blood that you shed on Calvary, Lord Jesus. Touch our minds, body, and soul, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And those out there that want to come to Christ, hallelujah. Inboxes on hallelujah. Touch them right now. The one that's watching this across the world, Lord Jesus. Touch their mind, body, and soul, Lord Jesus. Those who are struggling, Lord Jesus, with depression, Lord Jesus. Play
place your anointing hands on right now, Lord Jesus. Those who are struggling with pride, Lord Jesus, touch them right now in Jesus' name. Those who are struggling right now with lying, touch them right now in Jesus' name. Touch them right now, hallelujah. Angry, don't some out there that's angry, so angry, they don't know why they're angry, Lord Jesus. But we know that you will move that out of them. That almost looks back at the corner. 